In this video, I will evaluate the limit as x approaches 5 of x squared minus 25 over x minus 5. This is a somewhat interesting limit because substituting a value of 5 into this expression, 5 squared minus 25 is 0, 5 minus 5 is also 0. f of 5 is 0 over 0. That doesn't really tell you anything about what the limit is. This is called the indeterminate form, 0 over 0. However, notice that 5 is the only number that cannot be substituted for x in this expression. If this was a function f of x equals x squared minus 25 over x minus 5, we could substitute a 4. We could evaluate f of 4 without any problem at all. f of 4 would be 16 minus 25 over 4 minus 5, negative 9 over negative 1. That equals 9. We can evaluate a value 1 bigger than 5, like 6, f of 6. 6 squared minus 25 over 6 minus 5 is 11 over 1. So although you cannot get a value for f of 5, you can get a value for f of 4 and f of 6, and in fact, any other real number except 5. The value of f of 4 is 9. The value of f of 6 is 11. This implies that the limit as x approaches 5 is likely in between 9 and 11. Is it 10? Let's complete a table of values to see. When evaluating a limit with a table of values, you'll begin by setting up a table with two rows. The top row will be values for x, and these values for x will get closer and closer to 5 from below, and closer and closer to 5 from above. The bottom row will be labeled f of x, and those will be the values you get out of the expression after you substitute the x values. We've already evaluated f of 4 and f of 6. We found f of 4 to be 9, f of 6 to be 11. And as I said, this implies the limit as x approaches 5 is likely in between 9 and 11. But you can't be sure unless you delve a little deeper. Let's get a little closer to 5. As we approach 5 from the left and as we approach 5 from the right, are those values approaching the same number? If they are, that number is called the limit as x approaches 5. I'll begin by evaluating f of 4.9, substituting 4.9 for x, 4.9 squared minus 25 over 4.9 minus 5 is 9.9. .9. How about 5.1? How about a number that is a tenth bigger than 5? It's 10.1. This is looking like the limit as x approaches 5 is going to be between 9.9 .9 and 10.1 likely 10. Let's be sure. Let's go to a, a, the number that is a hundredth, only a hundredth below 5, and only a hundredth above 5. f of 4.99 is actually 9.99. It's getting closer to 10. It's getting closer to that value of 10, which I suspected it would be. How about a number a hundredth larger than 5? f of 5.01. 10.01 is the value of f of 0.01. 5.01 squared minus 25 over 5.01 minus 5 is 10.01. When you look at this table, you can see from the left, as numbers get closer and closer to 5 from below, those values are approaching 10. I did not include 4.999 in this table, but if I did, I would have got 9.999. These numbers are approaching 10 from the left. From the right, the numbers are also approaching 10. It's getting closer and closer to 10 as the values you're substituting for x get closer and closer to 5. Because from both directions, numbers less than and numbers greater than 5, as you get closer to 5 from both sides, the value of f of x is approaching 10. Because they're approaching that same number, that number is said to be the limit as x approaches 5. Although substituting 5 into the expression x squared minus 25 over x minus 5 is equal to 0 over 0, the indeterminate form, it's undefined, the limit as x approaches 5 
is asking for the value that the function appears to be approaching. And in this problem, based on the table of values on the screen, we can say that the limit as x approaches 5 of x squared minus 25 over x minus 5 equals 10.